hi, it's Chris in the 4 News Now First Alert Weather Center. It is Monday and a fairly warm start to Monday. Our temperatures back up around average for the first time in about nine days. That is not the trend. However, uh, let's get right to it with four things to know about your forecast. The rain is moving in tonight. If it isn't already raining at your house, it will be soon. We have the possibility of some showers Tuesday evening. Most of the day Tuesday will be dry. In fact, we should get a fair amount of sunshine. The rain returns Wednesday late afternoon and evening and into Thursday. And then right now it looks like a warmer and dry weekend. However, uh, temperatures still just hanging a little bit below average not by much really we'll call it average but today we hit it right on the bullseye 57 our high today which is our average high we started the day off at 34 sunset these days is at 744 here's a look at our forecast radar starting off at the current time as we go through the evening we start to see that rain developing this is 10 o'clock tonight uh, winds picking up as well it's going to be breezy tonight and then windy tomorrow uh, the rain will continue through the first part of the overnight but then here's 3 a.m most of the rain is over and I do say rain snow level will be dropping down to around 4,500 feet in the central panhandle about 4,000 feet in the northeast mountains and north Idaho so up above where the vast majority of the people live uh, we do have the possibility of some uh, showers tomorrow morning down on the Palouse and then another shower or two tomorrow afternoon mainly over the higher terrain it's only about a 20% chance of showers around the Spokane area tomorrow afternoon here's a broader view of what's going on we have a cold front coming through tonight and that's gonna pick up the winds for tomorrow a few lingering showers tomorrow afternoon and instability behind our front and then by Wednesday evening the next system starts it's approaching some prefrontal showers Wednesday evening and then we'll keep the chance of showers going for Thursday including the possibility of thunderstorms lows tonight will be down below freezing in Colville Deer Park will be in the mid 30s in Spokane and Coeur d'Alene but by the time we're dropping to that temperature where snow becomes an issue we will be long dry. Our high temperatures tomorrow will be in the 50s, a little bit cooler than today, not too far below average, but not as warm as it was today. Um, Wednesday, most of the day will be dry, and then we bring in the chance of rain in the late afternoon and evening um, into the overnight. Thursday, a chance of showers and possible thunderstorms, and then we dry out and stay dry starting on Friday um, with temperatures in the upper 50s. Looks like we might finally be back into the 60s um, for the first time in two weeks by this time next week. Um, and really, that's where we would kind of expect to spend most of our time. Um, I was looking at 8 to 14 day forecasts and they're continuing with this below average temperature, above average precipitation uh, situation, which is good news. We're still about an inch below average to this point in the year precipitation wise for Spokane. Uh, doing good down on the Palouse, further to the north into the Northeast Mountains and North Idaho, Stevens County, Pend Oreille County. They have have not been getting as much precipitation as we have and so they are still running at a pretty good deficit and have been sending me requests for more rainfall meanwhile that also holds true uh, for our snowpack we've had an increase late season increase in our snowpack um, for the central panhandle and uh, points to the south where those northern districts um, including the Spokane River Basin are still um, running below average. So there you have that. We take every drop of rain we can get heading into the dry season uh, with those uh, fire season issues looming ahead. Uh, these cool wet April days are probably just exactly what we need. Thank you very much for watching and uh, I'll be back here tomorrow. Hope to see you then.